Capo Bianco stripped that away, and here's Will Sheehy taking Barton. Sargent comes up with a loose change, and here comes Franklin on a three and two. Barton looked for Starrett, and it went off him, goes back to Indiana. But there's that transition game that Coach Kerry Prather has been looking for. Yeah, yeah, and, and Franklin's got to continue to look to capitalize on that. If they get a rebound with their size and speed, they've got to really try and take advantage against Indiana's taller players. Matt Roth was in great position there. He, he was ready to take a charge. Uh, Franklin didn't bite but he forced uh, the offensive player to make that pass, and the guy he was passing it to couldn't handle it. So just being in the right position led to a turnover. Nice job by Matt Roth. And Jordan Halls converts on the three-pointer. Last year was 40% from three-point land. Now he has five, and Indiana up by 21. Yeah, we talked about Franklin's eyes lighting up when uh, Indiana went to his zone. Matt Roth is a guy in Indiana whose eyes get real big when he sees an opposing defense in his zone. Balls back to Watford. It was evidence in the game um, a couple years ago against Ohio State where Matt hit, I think it was eight or nine threes. Uh, one of my former teammates, Rod Wilmot, had to call Tim Garl in the training room because he heard his record was in jeopardy. Rod had the, the previous record, which, which Matt tied. Um, he hit eight or nine threes against, uh, I believe it was Northwestern. So Rod had to make sure his record was safe, which, which is typical Rod. Great guy, great shooter. Matt Roth, an exceptional player for Indiana. The bottom of your screen, 30 in white. And last year, unfortunately for him, sustained an injury at a non-conference tournament in Puerto Rico. Here's Jordan Halls, his comrade for the Hoosiers. But yeah. Matt Roth ready to go for this year. Yeah, it was a really tough break for Matt last year. He went down, and then Maurice went down about 12 games into the season. So that further depleted Indiana's depth. Coach Crean said that they were on their way to having that competition, actually, until um, obviously Matt got hurt and then Maurice not too long later. So uh, that just further hampered uh, Indiana's ability to field a lot of depth and and be a truly competitive team game in and game out. Gerald Williams, uh, the official charges a foul on Will Sheehy, and Franklin will still keep it under two minutes. Indiana's gonna go with a full court pressure here. First time all game for that. Stare it with Barton up top. Porter, Sargent, and Conley on the outsides. And here's Porter in the blue uniforms. Always going to see at least two freshmen on the floor for this Franklin team and miscommunication between Conley and Starrett and a turnover goes back to Indiana. Kind of the same thing that happened a couple of possessions ago between Christian Watford and Maurice Creek. Uh, the big key there is you've got to look before you make the pass. Uh, you can't anticipate uh, your teammate being in a spot, you've got to look to check and make sure because uh, you know one of the ways you get open is by back cutting. And that time it was just a miscommunication by the guy with the ball not looking before he passed. Watford wants to take Barton, the right hand misses and Conley pulls down the miss. Good effort by Elston, he, he got himself in position for the offensive rebound, just went the wrong direction. Conley wants to take Watford with the left hand, and Will Conley scores. That was the guy that Coach Creed mentioned in his uh, scouting report of Franklin. Conley's a guy that's a very good scorer in the post for Franklin. Matt Roth looks for his first three, and he's got it. Good sign to see Matt come back from that injury. First three is taken, he knocks down. Under 45 seconds to go. Indiana leads 46 to 24 over Franklin, a Division III school. Conley, a long two. Hoosiers can hold for a last shot. Halls thinks otherwise, and Conley pulls down the miss. Quick can three by Jordan there. Might have thought that Indiana would have held the ball for the last possession and try and really work their half-court offense, but. I'm sure Jordan has the, the capability and probably the green light from Coach Crean where if he thinks he's open and can make a three, uh, he's probably got that, uh, that green light. He hit about seven or eight last year against Northwestern um, on senior day. So he's a very capable shooter. Uh, that just sets the tone for the work ethic that's needed to be able to compete at the Big Ten level. And you saw it displayed by Capo Bianco in the previous possession, but it was a travel call now. 
a foul against the Hoosiers' Maurice Creek as Bailey Howard was threading through the lane. 72-31, Indiana over Franklin. Just over 10 minutes to go in regulation. Dave Leno and Adam Allfeld with you. Great to have you with us for tonight's exhibition contest. Here's Seve Beach, a transfer from IPFW running the point. Howard again among Pritchard, gets it back, and Howard gets fouled. Another nice job by Tom Pritchard being in the right place. Uh, that wasn't his man, that drove, but he, he saw him out of the corner of his eye, turned, went straight up, tried to take the charge, wasn't called, um, but he prevented a layup from being made because, uh, again, defense is more than just staying on your man and making sure that your man doesn't score. It's much more than that. It's, it's keeping track of your man and keeping track of where the ball is because your man's not always going to have the ball. Um, that's what good defensive teams do. They're on help side, and they're ready to help the guy that, that is helping himself, and Indiana did that that time. Howard is two of two, a terrific shooter, according to Kerry Prather, the head coach for Franklin. Says that that will even help his club this year in the Heartland, as Anderson won it just a year ago. Roth misses the three. Moore again back to Roth. Good set play by Indiana again. Another half court set where Roth was able to come off of a down screen for a wide open three. He just missed it. Good look though. Roth over to Creek. He's wide open. In and out. And Mershbrock comes down with the miss. Good drive by Matt. That's one of the things that is really going to help. Uh, Indiana, if Matt Roth can develop and become even a more complete player, um, obviously he's known for his shooting, and he's a deadly outside shooter, but if he can just become a guy that can put the ball on the floor a couple of times, draw another defender, or pull up and raise up and make a jump shot over a guy, he's going to add even more to what he can bring to the table and, and probably earn himself some more minutes. But for right now, he's, he's just mainly known as an, a deadly outside shooter.